What's up guys, it's Corinne and Scout and I am going to talk to you guys about some of the things I have done to decorate a temporary home to make it feel more homey. If Nick gets sent somewhere else, he has to report usually within 24 hours is the rule. Well, that leaves me to pack up the house and go, you know, wherever he is. So, the less you have, the better in my book. This is the first season that he has been in one place for the entire season, so we weren't really sure coming into this year if we would move where we would move when blah 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 so we went with pretty bare minimum I'm super glad we did but I found little things to do and I want to show you guys so one of the things I haven't been able to share yet but I'm super excited to be able to do it is dun da 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 we actually have a couch. So as you guys know, when we moved in, we had planned to just not do furniture because um, of the expense. So super cool story, there's a girl named Rebecca that used to be a photographer for the missions, which is the team that Nick currently plays for. She got a job with the Astros, so she moved on up and moved to Houston, and they had seen a video that I did saying that we just weren't gonna have furniture, and she asked me if I wanted their sectional. So we can't thank them enough for giving us a couch because we have loved it, and Scout has loved it, and it has just been perfect to make our house feel a little bit more like home. So we do have throw pillows that came with this free couch of ours, but you guys don't need them. I promise you, you don't need throw pillows. If you do a blow up couch or something, I promise, don't bring them. Waste of space. I will say I'm really glad that I brought a blanket. It's not um, an attractive blanket. It's just a blanket that Nick and I have had our entire relationship. I actually made it for him. It was one of the first gifts I ever gave him. So it's special to us. So we have that. The next thing is the bathroom. I don't think that you need to do a lot with the bathroom. But one of the things I do recommend is bringing your own shower curtain or buying it when you get to wherever you are. We have these cute little diamond knobs that I've had forever. Um, but this is a great way to give your bathroom some sort of pattern or color if you're into color We just have tan towels, but if you're looking to add a little more color, that's a great option, too You can hang um, You know some colorful towels or whatever here So this one's gonna take me all the way back to college I used to do this all the time and all you need is dry erase board markers and a mirror So mirrors are really fun to write on for me with our house I always like decorating with you know those little sayings and motivation and sweet things but all you need is a little Windex to wipe it off when you want to change it or when you're done without having to put holes in your walls by hanging stuff. cannot go wrong with candles. You can get candles at the Dollar Tree, you can get candles at Walmart for super inexpensive. We like candles all the time and I think it's one of the best ways to add a homey touch to a home or a temporary home. The smell of it, everything is just so romantic and so homey. So here's another fun one that you can do in a temporary home to display some sort of pictures without having to put holes in your walls or pack a bunch of frames and stuff that might break while you're traveling. If you do have pictures and you really want frames, I recommend going to the Dollar Tree. People underestimate the Dollar Tree. Go to the Dollar Tree first. So I did go to Target to get some pictures printed to show you guys how to do this. Um, this isn't something that I did while Nick and I were here, but I think it's a really cute idea for people that want to get ideas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what we are going to do is a string of pictures. So while I was looking at Target, I was trying to find clothespins. They did have like the normal tan clothespins, but I also found this cute little thing and it has these little clips that are kind of the normal colors that I would decorate a house. It's like the soft pink and the soft grays and then in there are some blues for Nick. I got you. Literally just take your picture on your string. Yes, thank you, Scout. Thank you for your help. You're gonna take whatever you're using to fasten the picture onto the string, your clothespin or whatever. This is working just fine. And you're just gonna snap it right on there. I also like the fact that these have little gold accents because I live for gold. And then you're just gonna go all, you're just gonna go all the way down 
um, your string and attach your pictures. This is so cute. I'm sad I didn't do this earlier. We have so many pictures of our child, so I tried to mix a few in there of um, like our actual family, but I mean, come on. You're so cute. You're so cute. So find some place in the room where you can tie a loop and hook it over something. So if this had trim around it, I would probably be able to get away with a little like nail or something in the crevice of the wall in the trim. Um, but I'm just gonna try and hook it on the corners here. So yeah, stop playing with my string. Knock it off. nifty ideas that we did this season and that is that we brought magnets and we hung pictures and like scouts little report card and anything else that we want to see every day that will make us smile we put a magnet up and we hung it on the fridge easily transport from home if you just put it in a folder so they don't get ruined it's not going to take up any room the magnets are super small and don't take up any room if they break go to the Dollar Tree and get more so this is a live look into a typical night for me um, Nick is gone so I am chipotle with of course a side of guac and red wine so this looks like a cute little setup Guess what? This is a cardboard box. Boom! So people would be really surprised how many baseball couples actually do this. First of all, cardboard boxes are really important to save. When we left San Diego, Nick insisted on buying cardboard boxes because we couldn't find any free stuff and it drove me nuts because I've never had to buy something like that. I've always been able to just find it. Ah! Oh, so now I hoard cardboard boxes and just store them or use them um, because if something happens and we need to move, that's super important to have laying around. The other thing is, is that it literally, it's, it's a great table. Like why not? Why not use a cardboard box? So I bought this tablecloth at Target, um, super cheap. You can get them everywhere. You throw a tablecloth on this and there you have it. A romantic dinner for one on a beautiful cardboard box. I'm living the life. So I hope this gives you guys some ideas of some things that you can do to kind of spruce up your house without having to fully decorate it and buy stuff and hang stuff. Don't do any of that. I promise you, if you do little things here and there, you're going to be thankful that you did when you have to move. So I wanna know what you guys do or if you have any other ideas that we can do while we are on the road. Like I've mentioned before, we don't know if we're going to be somewhere one day, one month for the whole season. So leave your recommendations in the comments below. If you guys try any of this stuff, I wanna see it, so make sure to tag us. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys for the next video. Bye.